Hello again. So this is another ClickSpring inspired gyroscope build, but this time I've modified the design slightly and the gyroscope wheel is held on two sets of gimbals. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is make the supporting out of frame. It's drawn in Fusion 360, I've then 3D printed it, and then to get rid of the surface lines from the 3D printer I've sprayed it with high build primer and sanded it, and then finally I'm making a mould out of oil bonded sand. So now it's time to pour in the aluminium. To find out how the furnace works and how I've heated the aluminium, have a look at some of my other casting videos on my channel. Anyway, the aluminium is heated to about 750 degrees, and then I've used an angle grinder to get rid of the sprues from the casting, and then a flap disc to tidy things up. gimbal rings are cut from aluminium pipe and then tidied up in the lathe. I need to drill the two bearing locating holes exactly 180 degrees apart, so for that I'm going to use a rotary table. But before I can start I need to find the exact middle centre height on the ring. To make the bearing locating holes, which need to be a pretty good fit with the bearings, I suppose I should have got out my boring bar, but actually I decided to be a bit lazy and just try it with an end mill, it seemed to work. Next up is to make the four brass bolts that will end up holding the bearings. I'm going to bore out the two holes that I'll use to mount the bearings that hold the gyroscope, but since I don't have a boring bar that's small enough, I've actually used an end mill as a boring bar. This actually seemed to work really well. The two gyroscope bearings have an inside diameter of 5mm, so I've turned a shoulder of 5mm on the 6mm diameter axle. This then pushes into the bearings and locks in place. I need this brass sleeve so that I can spin up the gyroscope with an electric motor. I also need to cut away half the diameter of the axle. You'll see how all this works later on in the video. So now it's time to make the gyroscope wheel. So I started off by 3D printing the pattern, and then it's time for a bit of amateur foundry work to cast it in brass. So I've got the brass from some plumbing parts courtesy of my local DIY store, and then it needs to be heated to about 1070 degrees to melt. So as I said in all my casting videos, there's a lot of really obvious dangers with casting, but when you're casting brass, you also need to watch out for the zinc fumes. So if you're going to give this a go, then just make sure you do your research first and work out how you're going to keep yourself safe. So now the part's cast and it's cooled down, I can go back indoors and start tidying things up on the lathe. I've 
I've used a stub drill and then a twist drill and unfortunately due to some flat batteries I haven't shown it here finally a reamer to get the hole through the middle of the wheel. With that done I've turned the wheel around centered it back in the four jaw chuck with the DTI and then I can machine the other surfaces. The wheel's going to be held in place with a couple of grub screws, so it's back over to the mill to drill and tap the holes, and then back over to the lathe to part off the spigot. To spin up the gyroscope I'm going to use an electric motor, so there's a brass sleeve over the end of the shaft, and then the motor fits into the key and the key pushes into the hole between the brass sleeve and the shaft. So the brushless motor runs off a speed controller and the speed controller needs a PWM signal to control it. I'm generating that from an Arduino Nano. And to do that I need to write some C code that will slowly ramp up the motor speed as it accelerates the gyroscope. In this shot you can see the PWM signal that's coming out of the Arduino and the wider the pulse width the faster the motor. So here we are at the end of the video. So here's the original render that was from Fusion 360. And here's the completed gyroscope. So thanks for watching and I hope you've enjoyed the video. The next thing I'll do is publish a video that shows the gyroscope running. And if you have enjoyed it, please do subscribe and please do hit the thumbs up.